Have I seen the Arco Gods? Oh, you are right. I've seen the Arco Gods. I've seen more than the Arco Gods. Rimble, Ramble, Roo. Rim, Rim. For you, too. <laughs> and Codex. Is he a good friend, Codex? You love Codex. He looks like Little Condom Man. Little Condom Codex. I don't know why I'm being so mean to him. Now, today's episode is pre-recorded because I am going to see my friends in real life so that I don't go completely insane. I, it's right. I have friends. That's right. That's correct. I am the life and soul of the party. And if you don't believe that, clearly you haven't watched enough of this content. Nothing says life and soul of the party more like someone who spends 16 hours a day sat in the same room by a PC playing video games. <laughs> so we're in a bit of a mid-series lull, in my honest opinion. There's always a mid-series lull. But more importantly, this series is worse than ever because it is goddamn vanilla RimWorld. Despite popular rumor and people asking about base game RimWorld things and accusing me of using mods when they are base game RimWorld things, this is vanilla RimWorld. Oh, and also the storyteller may be broken because raids have stopped, but that's not a concern. That is not a concern in the least because we have to earn $350,000 reduce. In doing so, we get to go to the... We get to go... Oh, where the fucking hell's the quest gone? We get to go... <laughs> I put it in the bin. We... Okay, line. We get to go to the Arco Nexus. I think I nailed that. No one will notice. Now, yesterday was a lot of me doing nothing because, quite frankly, I haven't got the room, nor do I have the attention span, nor do I have the patience, nor do I have the need. We're going to get our goal... Eventually, I'm going as fast as I can. Planted as many farms as are reasonably plantable. By the time they finish harvesting them all, they start growing them again. So this is this is fine. This is like a great amount of work to do. Could recruit more people, grow more farms, but then of course the raids will get harder and it's too much of a risk. So things are fine. What we're going to do today is focus on the characters themselves. More specifically, our our three people that we're going to take to the next Arco next is of course going to be Godex, uh, Gotem, and Dennis Zog himself. Dennis Zog, though internally is a beautiful, beautiful sweet man, ask me how I know. Externally is uh, a fool. I should be looking at his gear. Externally, externally, not just his skin, but on the outside of that even, is uh, not very good stuff, in fact. We need power armor. We need charge weapons. We need the best things possible for our three remaining characters so that they can go out into the world with power and might and they can hold their chins high. Hold their head up high. I got my metaphors confused. It's okay. So right now, currently, we're researching our uh, marine armor. After that, we go for pulse charge munitions, but we need to do some other stuff too. I need to convert him, but basically it was, oh, it's going to take forever though. Maybe we need to boogie woogie. Also, Mike's here. Who's Mike? No idea. No idea. He turned up one day and I haven't had the heart to make him leave because he looks quite scary with that cowboy helmet. Hel cowboy, cowboy helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a safety conscious cowboys. I've never noticed those light up before. Is that base game? R R R RGB loudspeakers? That's the face of a man who loves disco. That's me when I'm forced to get on the dance floor. The sticky, sticky dance floor. Oh, Jesus. To be a fly on the wall at this disco, huh? What a dump. But we might get an ancient complex. In that ancient complex will be money. Wow, we haven't had much luck with that so far. Okay, we didn't even get that. People just had fun. You're not here to have fun. You're here to earn me money, goddamn you. At the rate we're going, look at how much that curve has flattened out. What are you people fucking around at? Get to work! No. A group of pigs from <gasps> our mortal enemies, Mol Boomok. Hello there. Oh, that's a lot of pigs. Oh my god, that's actually a significant amount. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I won't pollute anymore. Please don't be angry at me. They're probably going to die in like most of these traps, but certainly not all of them. Oh god, this is way more than I'm prepared to fight. I spent all my resources building like half auto cannon turrets because we haven't really got any resources left. They're going to go through the wall and not through the kill box. What are you doing? What? Not not kill box. Obviously not not kill box. It's not a kill box. Ooh, that's a good sound. I like that. Oh, they went through it straight through the bloody gate. Oh god, how am I supposed to deal with this? That's so many piggies. That's so many little, little piggies. And they're going around that way. Okay, we need to take out one group. Rapid fast. Come back down here. Defend the hospital. What are they doing? They're just going to try and firebomb my beautiful boy. I will wipe out your people. First, the Arco Nexus is getting punched. Then every pig that's ever lived. Give me the melee characters. We stick those right there. I'm going to gamble on the friendly fire. I don't like that. That's never, that's never something I should say out loud. That's the guest I'm trying to keep happy. So putting him on the front lines with a knife is probably not the right way to go about that. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. Send him to hell. Send him to hell. Pull back. Let, let, him, let him come through, actually. Let him come through. Let him come through. Yeah, come on. Step through. Hopefully we can deal with that group before they get through. Oh, that flimsy wooden door. Right. I'm going to say that's probably not going to happen then, is it? Oh, we are going to lose a lot of the base here, aren't we? Oh, shit. Oh, shit and piss. Where's Flippers? Flippers, you're defending the other door, my friend. Oh, he's there. 
You just fell down while you were shooting. Well, that's, that's really reassuring. That's great. Right, you go there. You stand there. Encourage them to come through. Oh, great. Sh great hit. Wow, that's actually kind of mad. Cavalan, okay, they're, they're actually burning them. No, no, no. I can't afford to lose this. You're going to set me back weeks. You're actually going to set me back weeks. What happened to Goat Ham? <gasps> no. Are you shitting me? Permanent gunshot injury in the brain. From a machine, a single machine pistol bullet. What are they doing? If they burn my stockpile, I, I'll just cry because that's going to undo weeks. That's going to undo like three days worth of progress. They're fucking gone. Right, turn. 360, walk away. I, 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 you're actually going to see me physically cry. I don't think I can bear to see this happen. Oh, God. It's just a bunch of piggies. It's just a bunch of piggies. No! Goham's going to bleed out, though, right? Because you just got shot in the goddamn brain. Death in 22 hours. Very resilient, spongy brain you've got there. It makes a lot of sense. Honestly, Captain Bird's is going to take a week to get there. Mike, stay back. Mike, this isn't your fight, Mike. I appreciate it, but this isn't your fight, fella. Um, you get to some cover. Just get to whatever cover you bloody can. Codex, get over there. Uh, stand behind the mortar. I'm sure that's not explosive at all. You can come around here and flank him. That could be good. Yeah, let's do something like that. I like that. Dennis Zug, here he comes. Dennis Zug, he protect drug. Lot, lot of drug. We've got lots of drugs only protecting. Kill them all. Uh, combat command. Save it. I was saving it for this. Not that it's going to matter too much unless I bunch my people together more, which I don't like the idea of, but I haven't got a choice. Kill. Die and kill. I'm saying die to the enemy and kill us, kill them. Sorry, that might be very confusing to my people. Boom. Look at this. The Dennis Zog flank maneuver. You've all heard of it. There's a page about this on the wiki, by the way. Kapow. Pogo, you're done for. Poyork. I love their names so much. I want to play a piggy colony someday because they're so funny. <laughs> We've done it. Oh, use your Molotovs. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining, actually. My drug fields are probably fine. Oh, they're not. Oh, the bad rain. It's bad rain. Fucking gnug for her again. How many times are you going to turn up? Was this the one I captured and then released earlier? Whoa, no way. Wait, is it? Dennis Sugg. No, it isn't. Oh, it could be. It could very much be. Because I made this stupid Grigner joke every single time. It was very messy, but it really wasn't awful. I mean, other than goat ham getting... Permanent brain damage, which to be fair, he was working on by himself. So it's it, it was just kind of, that was fated either way. What we need to do is shore up this. We need to do something about this because this is a repeated security breach. Uh, 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 uh. You can you can cheese it. You can cheese it in a rim rim. They, they, they avoid turrets intentionally. So if we throw down turrets on this side of the... Oh, God. Wow. That's what I get for doing dead memes. Uh, they will... <laughs> if that was the case, I would be dead and buried. Do we just send it? Should we just take the gamble? We get a bloody Arcotech arm. Oh. Vanimetric power cell? Okay, could be useful in the next base. Not really that useful, though. Solar panel will basically do the same thing. An Arcotech arm, though. Ooh. Two mech clusters of two times size will deploy nearby. The mech clusters we fought currently have been big baby shit. I'm going to do it. We're going to send it. We're going to send it. They sent us four warriors to fight in battle. We've also got to take care of a prisoner for six days and fight two mech clusters. Fine. That's very easy. Um, Where am I going to put... Where am I going to put prisoner? Mike, when are you leaving, fella? Shot arrives in 6.4 days. Oh, Jesus. Okay, someone's going to have to give up a house then, aren't they? I haven't got anywhere to put a prisoner. You know what? You're going in the disco room. Congratulations. It's the nicest prison I've ever built. Warriors can die in battle. The warriors will die in battle because I haven't got anywhere for them to sleep. Oh, God, they're not very good, are they? Oh, they're the same ideology as Ankle Shanker. Oh, shit. Fucking thing broke down before it's even fired a shot. For God's sake. And I don't think there's any more steel on this map. I think I've finally eaten it all. Oh, there's some very, very far out. Oh, this could be risky. Okay. Grab that stuff. A little bit of compacted machinery here and there. This is good. This is good. And then I think that's it. Oh, God, we might have to flip over to deep drilling. Oh, no, there's a little bit more. Have hope. Hold on. Oh, there's bloody loads left. No, you're fine. What the? Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you finally showed your faces, have you, you cowards? Oh, God. I'd like to retract my previous statement. <laughs> oh, God, that's quite a lot. Although... Two mech capsules we can bait out quite easily. You've got a high shield, which is a real pain in my ass. Also, Inferno Terror is like the easiest to worry about. Oh, Christ. The only reason any sensible base game loving person might turn to the side of mods. Auto mortars. Base game shitting auto mortars. No cooldown, no warning. Your base gets destroyed now. Um, well, shit. My friends? 
Off you go. <laughs> Your job is very simple. Take out the high shield. No, I haven't got mortars research. Go take out that auto mortar. We'll call it even. Best of luck. They should be able to take this out. They should be able to take this out. And then I can plan things and be a bit more careful, right? So you lot just go ahead and hit that for me. And we can just be friends then. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're so... They've done it. They've actually done it. Oh, my God. The legends. Oh, that's a centipede. Oh, no. Why did I agree to this? This was nonsense. Well, on the plus side, they did a pretty good job. The rest actually coming up to attack. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. I can deal with this quite easily. <gasps> Not again. Not again. Why does this always happen? Oh, why does this always happen? That's it. Bait them over. 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 Run fast. Run fast. By the time the centipede gets here, we're going to have dealt with all the others. So then we've just got to take out all those bloody turrets. And that'll be that'll be no problem. Run left to two. Keep baiting them, though. Death Stork. Oh, Jesus. I wonder who bloody Stork was then. There you go. Look at this. Oh, this has worked so goddamn well. Beautiful boy, turn around. 360, walk away, my friend. Codex, crafty, sadness, flippers. Uh, I'm going to get you an ankle shanker. Get the MP launcher. Manifest destiny. Go back to that. Go back to your... Okay. Go back to your old classic. This is amazing, because look how spread out they are. And then all I've got to do is go in and what? Bonk off a few turrets. One, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll be easy, he says. Start firing. Start firing. Kill them all. Great shot. Actually, actually superb shot. Don't let me hit the turrets. Honestly, I'd rather them hit the turrets than hit us, so I don't mind too much. But those also cannon turrets are bloody expensive. I'd rather 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 take them alive, actually. Fire there. Ankle Shanko. Legend. Legend. Oh, you did you did whiff it. You did whiff it, but that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're dealing with this handily. Not a problem. Then the pointman will die in two seconds flat, and then it's all in on the centipede. This is a work of art. Honestly, we could push Dennis Dog up. Push you lot up. Push you lot up. And then you go in and smash them. Just got to watch out for the, the friendly fire is the only concern. Oh, actually, what is the concern is Ankle Shanker probably taking out the shields with a EMP. Ooh, careful there. Careful there. Back off. Dennis Hugs, stay there. Bird's Eye, get back. Let's put you behind some cover here. This is amazing. Okay, and then you... Oh, careful there. Careful there, Zug. Careful there, Zug, Zug. Okay, go, 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 go. Well, it's distracted. Take it out. Okay, Ankle Shanker, I need you to not shoot a damn thing. You piss off. Second Zug shield goes down. We get him out of there, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. I think it's going to be dead long before then. Work of art. Actual work of art. Thank you, squad. Go about your life. Seriously, that was amazing. We couldn't have done that any better. That was no hits. Then we just have to very carefully deal with this, which, to be fair, I could just wait for a raid to turn up. I could just wait for more pigs to turn up, and they'll deal with that. Oh, but hang on. Mech assemblers. What are you making? Pikeman and Scyther and Pikeman. I'd rather not deal with that. There's the other one. First one was pretty easy. They're quite distant, too, and we can still rely on the same kill box again. Not kill box. I would never say that. Toxic Spirit. No high shield. That's interesting. Okay, so we could definitely get their attention. To be fair, with the proximity detector, we could just send Swoofter in to go set it off and then bait them around again. That's a lot more centipedes this time, though, isn't it? Three, three blasters, one burn, and scythes are no problem. Scorchers. Thing is, they won't spread out so much because it's not so far a journey. <laughs> I forgot about the roses. <laughs> Toxic Spirit's going to kill all my crops. We've got to do it now. We've got to do it now. If you kill all my crops, that's going to set me back another lifetime. All right, Swoofta, I've got a mission for you, my friend. Oh, oh God. Yeah, no, let's let's just deal with it now. I'm so sorry, sweet Swoofta. I'm so sorry. Your sacrifice is necessary. Oh, God, they're not they're not taking it. Okay, Um, shoot at that. And then run like hell. Oh, that fucking horse jumped in front of the bullet. Get down, Mr. Centipede. <laughs> Come on. You shot Swoofta. Codex. That was unnecessary. Come on. Oh, you shot him again. What are you, blind? And you've just killed a deer. This man is hitting everything but that, for God's sake. <laughs> Amazing shot. Just, like, incredible shot. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. Oh, come on. Please. Thank you. Okay, now you run. Oh, God. Oh, I almost let my impatience kill Codex then. It's not enough to bait them out. You actually have to do some damage. Oh, bollocks. Well, this is going to be messy, isn't it? This is going to be a messy... Ooh, you will never get this. You're never going to hit that from there, you fool. Okay, okay. Oh, they might, though. Shit. How am I going to bait this out? Because we can't let this toxic spewer go butt wild for too long. Call a trade caravan in. <laughs> but that, we've, got the, we've got the attention of that tester on. Realistically, if we can take that out and that blows up, that might take out the mini slugger and then we'll do enough damage. We, could, we might just be able to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, now we've got their attention. Run. 
Why did I send Codex? Why did I send Codex of all the people? Crafty, you big bitch. I'll find you for that. Oh, God. Good dodge. Good dodge. Good dodge. There you go. Run. Run. D uh, Codex, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Everyone in position, please. Everyone in position. Everyone in position. And Shanga, we're actually going to need that this time. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with Dennis Zog. This seems super, super dangerous and very unnecessary. God damn, I could do with some more ranged characters, huh? Keep going. Don't, don't turn around. Don't look behind you. Run. Just book it. Just absolutely book it. Here we go. Great work. Great work. Swoofter, get out of there. You're too precious to me. Careful, careful. Oh, fuck. There goes Swoofter. Shot to death. God damn you. That was, that was, honestly, that was mostly the fault of, of Codex. Okay, nice. I swear that hit one of those. Like a refund on that. Oh, God. Oh, Dennis. Dennis Zog. Old oh, Dennis Zog. Get it, get out the fire, get out the fire, get out the fire, get out the fire. Wow, this is, a, this is a, this is a nightmare. Wow, this could not have gone any worse for Captain Bird's eye, eh? Jesus Christ. Dennis. Dennis, you've got, you've got to take that scyther down, big man. Thank you. Okay. How long till the centipede's here? They're almost here. Fuck me. Wow, this is a goddamn mess. Go, go, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice, nice. So there you go. Come down, take this out. Then it's a free run on the centipedes. Oh, Ankushanka's on fire. Mike, go put out Ankushanka. Codex is on fire too. What are they doing? Really does make you think. No, 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 no. I'm losing control. I'm losing control. I'm losing control. I'm losing control of everything. I'm really losing control of everything. Dennis, you got to be careful, big man. Go up and fist fight. Oh, God, this is going to get Dennis up killed. Okay, okay. Get, get into cover, get into cover, get into cover. Mike, you're supposed to be my guest. Okay, go, go, piss off. What was that? One of my turrets. No? What the hell is that? Oh, it is one of my turrets. Yeah, there's a turret under all that fire. That would make a lot of sense, eh? Okay, here you go. Beautiful boy. <sighs> I thought I lost someone important then. Codex is just lying on fire in the rain. I'm going to presume he'll be okay. <laughs> great stun from Ankle Shanker. Oh, great, great stun, great stun, great stun. Get out. Okay, is anybody bleeding out? Is anybody dying? Have I got anything to worry about? You're death in, death in four hours. Oh, someone needs to tend to Codex, but who the hell am I going to send? Mike? Mike can't do it. Okay, um... <laughs> Flippers, you've got to send Codex. <sighs> oh, we hope that Crafty stops breaking down. That might be my only saving grace here. This is fucked up. Oh, Ankushanka is saving it. You know what? I'm going to send Ankushanka back. Because Ankushanka is not the one doing the damage. That was a, a, a superb, superb dodge. Why is the nice music playing amid this? Where's the combat music, my guy? As soon as Codex is fine, I'm giving Ankushanka the rifle. You're coming back. You're coming straight back up. God, they're, they're almost done, though. Wait, the turrets are out of ammo. Well, they, they fought pretty damn well. They fought very valiantly. Oh, the best part is they're shooting at the... They're firing at the auto cannon turrets that are already destroyed. Look. Massive distraction. How's Codex looking? Death in 21 hours. Honestly, at this point, grab the rifle. Come give us a hand. Because we're not going to last 21 hours. Either we all survive or none of us survive at this point. Crafty. My friend, this is actually the longest fight to take out three enemies I've maybe ever had in this game. <laughs> Should we spread out a little bit? Should we just try and, try, and, try and move over a tad bit? Maybe kind of spread out some of this evil? That seems pretty good. I'm all right with that. There you go. There you go. This is fine. Oh, Ankushenka's down. That's probably, that's probably Ankushenka dead, to be honest. You're not going to survive that, are you? Okay. Um... You could get you here, pull out the fire. Oh, the fire's gone out. Okay, that's good. Well, that's something, isn't it? The fire's gone out. Well, that's just lovely. It's Codex, I've had Mike bring to the hospital. Because it was either that or Codex probably just gonna die. So you you can lie there and potentially heal up. But you are gonna bleed out in 19 hours. So we've got to be bloody fast. And chance our malnutrition will kill him long before that. So... This was a mistake. This was a mistake. I should never have done this. I should never have done this. We need to, we need to heal Ankushanka. Basically now, what the hell just happened? <gasps> the man, the myth, the legend, Dennis Dog has got up. Is that, your, is that your axe? Get it. Oh, you motherfuckers, it's back on. Oh, it is so back on. We are so back. Dennis, Dennis Dog, Dennis Dog. Oh, when I needed him the most, the man's come back for me. You fucking legend, finish this off. Finish this off and I will... <sighs> I thought someone had died, Dennis, just sadness dazing. It's okay. You don't... 
Flippers, Flippers is broken down. Everybody's breaking down. But Dennis stands strong. The immovable man. Codex is fine. Codex isn't dying for 18 hours. You're fine. You're dying in 14. So actually, Ankle Shank is the biggest threat here. Because I think Dennis has got this in the bag. So I'm starting to plan in my brain what the hell we're going to do to recover from this. I think you go tend. Oh, my God. No, come closer. Go and help Dennis Zog. Close the gap. Get it, get that uranium ace in and actually just help him batter it. Actually, are you good at melee? You're as good at melee as you are at shooting. Brilliant. Okay, go, go batter it. Dennis Hugg is down. I think this was the right move. I still think this was the right move. Crafty. Crafty, come on. Come on. It's, it's down to Crafty now. Dennis Hugg put up a goddamn Warriors fight. Oh, my God. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel like it was awful. That was the worst idea I've ever had. That was a terrible raid that we were totally unprepared for, but nobody's going to die. You know what? Not a goddamn person is going to die here. You watch this. You will never do doctoring. Okay, everyone's going to die. Are you joking? The only person that's standing is the only person in capable of doctoring. That's, a, that's very funny. That's actually so funny. You can start rescuing people at the very minimum. Actually, you'll probably re rescue Ankle Shankle for the... Ah. That'll be that slaughterer going on then. Infections. Here they come. Here come the infections. Flippers, basically, unless you stop slaughtering soon, Codex is dead. So, oh, this all depends on whether or not Flippers is crafty. Is uh, crafty is no use to me. Unless Flippers actually stops being a prick. There, go, 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 go. Ten Codex. You know what? You're a doctor now. Congratulations, you're a doctor. You're a doctor. You're, where, where the fuck are you? Who am I looking for? Fucking Flippers? Flippers is already on doctoring. That's why. Come on. Not now. Not like this. What the hell just happened? Flippers and Crafty just became lovers. This is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. This is this is not the moment. I'm happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Not now though. Ah! Is that a problem? Is that a problem? What is it? Two pikemen and what else? Just two, two pikemen and a scyther. On the plus side, quest complete. Someone go to narco tech arm. And we got a silent neuro from that. I give it to goat ham. Presuming goat ham ever walks again. If anyone's gonna die, it's gonna be Captain Bird's eye because I can't enter infections. Flippers is. Moment of sadness. That Scyther probably happened to Sadness. Are you going to die on the traps? No, because you're turning around. You're just going to trash my wall. Whatever, live your life. Well, that's good news. Mike's up. Well done. Glutz of Medicine. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break, though. Shuttle arrived. Oh, for Mike? More mechanoids have been defend. <laughs> okay, now we're, now we're, like, fucking dead, right? Um, I do have my final get out of jail free card. And that's calling in a trooper squad. Are they going to be able to take out... Ooh, it sounds like they are dying on the traps, though. Oh, hold on. They might only have to fight a, uh, a sense speed. Go, little troopers. Go, 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 go. Fight for me. Yes, this is good. Teenage troopers. They sent me 14-year-olds armed with big guns. Are you fine? Are you going to have to be walking around? You are. Oh, we'll live your life, fella. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed the 10 quality. What was that? Listen, this is a mess, okay? It's fucking 2 a.m. Shut up. In <laughs> infection major. Hello. 79% 10 quality. That's pretty damn good. She might be fine. 54%. Sorry. 44% immunity. 53% spread. It's going to be messy. It's going to be messy, but it's very possible. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Oh, actually good shit, though. Uh, you've just got a centipede to deal with, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but that's okay. That's okay. Hey, this isn't terrible. You can probably, you can probably survive that. They're getting to cover pretty effectively. Except for the one who walks right up to it to melee them with an assault rifle, which I don't exactly approve of. But this, is, this isn't going badly. Sadness died. Well, there's nothing I could do about fucking sadness. There's nothing I could do. Well, sadness is gone. So we do lose someone. There was nothing I could have done about that. I made my choice. It was Codex. It was everyone else. Or it was sadness. Sadness who was sad wandering in the kill box when the mechanoids are coming in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, there was nothing to be done there. Are they even going to kill that? Oh, they did. Okay. Are you not going to go out and fight the clusters for me? Because that'd be, that'd be really helpful, actually. Where are you going? I think they are. I think they are. They're not doing a great job, but they're, they're certainly they're certainly doing a job. If you can take that out, I've already done most of the work there, comma gal. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey, there you go. Good shit. Oh, well done. Great work. <laughs> it's like lemmings, isn't it? Really, it's just like lemmings. If you can take out those mech assemblers, specifically the one building the centipedes, that would be also really, really kind of you. Very, very good and cool. Oh, there's one down. Hello. Thank you, Autosave. Appreciate that. It was a great moment for it. Take take that out. Are we going to get up in there in time to take out that centipede? Are we going to get... Oh, I could also probably smash the whole mech cluster. I'm going to go, Ham. Malnutrition. 
Welcome to Base Game Room World, what can I say? Because their consciousness was already lowered by the brain injury that they had. This is obviously a classic issue and I'm not going to go into it. It's bullshit, I'm not going into it. Because their consciousness was lowered by the brain injury they already had. If you fall into malnutrition when it falls below a certain amount, because we haven't got a doctor. Because everybody's dying, then they die. That's that. That's that. That's how that goes. Thank you. <laughs> Goldham also had permanent brain damage, so getting them back upon their feet would have taken bioregeneration at the very, very minimum. Get rid of this fucking toxic spewer. You have driven me insane. Die. One mech cluster down. That's going to help with some mood. What's this medical emergency? Why are you walking around? Why are you walking around when bed rest is maximum? What are you fucking around at? Lie down. Fuck off. Shut up. Oh, develops immunity. Carry on. <laughs> I can't be held accountable. <laughs> I mean, I can be and I should be, but I refuse to be held accountable. That's what I'm saying. I can't. As in, I'm, I'm manifesting that. How's everyone looking then? Come on. How are we looking? Actually, it was not that bad. Ankushankle somehow got away with no permanent injuries. It was a lot of burns, though, that took out Ankushankle, right? Dennis Zug somehow got away with no permanent injuries. To be fair, all bionics, very hard to scar. Codex got away with no permanent injuries. I, I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. That was Moyle Pup. And that was old. That was the stab scar you started with. You got away with it. Flippers? Shit. So if we ignore the two deaths... One was from bullshit, which we'll ignore. The other was was legitimate, but she did break down in a cut. That was like that was sad, and nothing could be done about that. That was that was a legitimate death for sure. Other than that, though, no permanent damage, nothing. It's like they weren't even here, except for the two graves that we have to dig. It was like no one was even here, except for the fact that you. No, you're actually none of this was from that raid either. My God. Ah, oh, and back to business. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even buried our people yet. They should get nice graves in the city somewhere. What do you think we put that? Maybe back here. Oh, this is actually a really lovely. This is like prime real estate. Oh, Christ. Okay, maybe we're not quite out of the woods yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Draft everyone up. I'm sorry. It's another fight. Where's that shuttle for Mike? Mike, go on your shuttle. Piss off. I don't want to risk you dying. Not when we've somehow managed to complete your quest. A Scyther, two Pinkman. Is that it? Scyther, two Pinkman. That's manageable. How many more can they assemble? Two, two, and two. 1.1 days. I don't know how the hell I'm going to even get close to this while everyone's so injured. Get him. Get him. Zog. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I just refuse your reality. Quite frankly, I refuse your reality. I'll just reload. I got that auto save. I'll, I'll fucking reload. You watch me. What's happening? What was that lag? Don't do that. <laughs> He's get the hell out of me, man. Is it just from pain? It's just from pain. It's just from pain. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, here. Get tended. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Get him, squad. This should be very, very easy. Pintman famously angle shankers back up. You legend. You actual little legend. Get an assault rifle. Get back on the front lines, please. Pintman famously hate melee. Boom. Easy. Okay. Hey, let's get back to that sniper rifle idea. You remember that? Let's get back to that for a second. Good. My pig supplies are replenishing. That's good. <laughs> That's good. After flippers went a bit berserk. If nothing else, at least some love came of it. At least some love came of it. We'll get them buried and then we'll wait for everybody to heal up before we bury them. Mike, you good? Piss off. Okay. Another quest complete. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Cataphract helmets, Arcotech arms, tornado generators, bombardment targeters. We have so many get out of jail free cards again. That will, that will never happen. This level of massacre will never happen again. Wait for everybody to not break down. Then we'll have a couple of funerals. But you know what? Two funerals after all those mechanoids attacked. I'll take it. I will take it. We've just got one or two things left to deal with. One or two or three brand new, fresh off the production line mechanoids. Unfortunately for them, we have Dennis Zug. Slayer of centipedes. Did you see that man? Did you see this man go during that fight? That was awesome. Oh, well done. Great work. Great work. Great work. One more. Easy. Done. Easy fight. Easy fight. That's it. You know what I love about Remod? I love sometimes the beautiful poetry that comes from this game. I love the procedurally generated tales that come out of this. Tales of revenge and sadness. Why have you got the game paused? Well, that's a great question. Maybe we got a raid from Mall Boom Up again. Do you think about that? Do you think we got another raid from there? No way. Maybe those raiders landed right on top of the mechanoids. <laughs> oh... It's beautiful poetry, isn't it? I appreciate you going easy on me. Actually, how many did they send? Well, it did say there were several groups. I guess there were three over here. Three and then two? I'm not sure. Actually, which side is going to win at this point? I mean, it doesn't really matter because whoever we're fighting, there's going to be almost nothing left. Oh my god, they're fleeing. Oh no, 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 it was three separate groups. They all just landed in the same place. Amazing. So we've got to fight one, one biggie. There are no roses at the front door anymore, McCug. There are no roses at the front door anymore. 
only pain. No roses, only Dennis Zog. There, there are no more turrets, right? I'm not going mad. And then, yeah, because otherwise that other pig wouldn't have walked away. So I think we can just blast in here. 0 0.6 days on that one. 0 0.6 days on this one. And then we take out the second mech cluster and we are golden. We're absolutely golden. Go. Boom. Oh. It's almost like generating 250,000 silvers worth of wealth and investing very little of that into defenses may bite you in the ass. Oh, yeah, no, you can go now. Thank you. You did a great job there. I, I just, I give up. <laughs> I attacked early, earlier than we should have to kill the, the, the toxic spewer, so to, to kill my psycho. I take out all the mechanoids. We get a fortunate raid that tidies it up. I've got tears in my eyes. I'm not sure if it's sadness or disbelief, right? Our people heal up. We lose two people. We rebuild our strength. We come through out on the other side, and then the fucking game's like, now nah, your psychoid's dying anyway. Look at it. Oh, well, I suppose at least it was the stuff that was pretty much already fucked. Who's our next best social character? That would be Captain Birdseye. That would be Captain Birdseye. And honestly, you're, you're a good character. You got high melee, you got high medical, you got potential for good social. So without further ado, you become our new seer. And she's also our ideology. Oh, wasn't that some strange turn of fate? The person I converted for her own good so that she wasn't so self-loathing and being a, a xenotype that she herself hated, ended up coming full circle to her being our next best seer. Crazy. Now we have a seer, we begin the sightless eulogy for Goat Ham. And then after Goat Ham, oh Jesus Christ, after Goat Ham, we have one for Sadness. And now this one has to be the best possible to take out that other mood negative we just got from the other one. Dennis Ugg's given up. Boom. That's what we like to see. Okay. Plus eight mood for six days. I'm going to go lie down for a month. This was stressful. I don't think I've ever I, I, I spent so long fighting a single raid uh, as carefully as I did. Never as I spent that long paused. Checking all my characters carefully and making sure no one died. How much of this episode is going to be left in? I don't know. I don't like to edit raids. I try and do as little as possible because, of course, a single bullet at any second could change the whole outcome of the raid, right? Someone got like a shot in the head and die instantly. So I can't really edit too much of it out, but simultaneously, some sacrifices are going to have to be made here. I don't know about you lot, but I get the feeling that if I uploaded a two hour video of me fighting centipedes, might not do so well on the old analytics front, eh? So this is probably going to take me longer to edit than it did to record. Thank you for joining me, nonetheless. So with today, I was hoping that we would be able to blast through the final parts of this base. Obviously, massive plot twist shook things up. I think it was fantastic. I love it when that happens when they through a series. Death is such a great storyteller in, in RimWorld. And it's, uh, it, it's a fantastic motivator for shaking things up when things do get a bit dull. So that came at kind of the perfect time. Not that, of course, I want anyone to die. Um, but tomorrow's episode will probably just be... Let's blast out the last resources we need. It won't take long. Rebuild, pick up people, get them bionics up, get the final last bits of the marine armor and the charge weapons, and get the hell out. That's going to be the plan. The next arc next will be 100,000. One after that will be 50k, and we'll just keep cranking the difficulty up and up after that. So it'll be super, super quick going forward. So we're probably like halfway through the series, if not slightly more at this point. Thank you to Jim Stevenson, Scott Layton, Seed, Night Beast, Hawk C120, Zach Bishop, Sakari, Mutabullis, Zero's Legion, the soup, the stupid, the sexy, and the monstrous. James A0733, Nancy Drow, I Doge, Will, Cosmic Zombie, An Apple in Solitude, Dead Degrees, Somber Apoc, Gazoose, Sergeant Nero, Bill Sasparilla, Litha Breaker, Holy Reapers, and Variants for their support today. The executive producer here from over on Patreon. Thank you as well to Ethrix Z Audio 951, Richie B634, Elliot Sandage, Doogie Monster, Ed, formerly the Cooper Kunga, Derpin8, Vingy, Pinky Arman, Elias Volberg, Last Archangel, Mithrin, Generally Mean, and Ace of Hearts. Thank you. What a stressful experience that was.